Hello, and welcome to another edition of Paranormal Activity and Mysterious Stories. Let me give you a quick preview of what I got coming up in this video. Uh, the first is a video of a black cube-like craft seen crossing the moon. Pretty sure this was taken from a telescope on Earth. Let's see, second, I got this video out of Japan, I think this is. This is a strange green light in the sky. Also have this um, video out of, I think this is Italy. I think this is the ocean over here, but uh, strange craft or object seen here. Let's see, I also have this video of, um, of a UFO caught on a CCTV in Rio. This is a possible UFO over Romania. Uh, here, these are odd lights over El Paso, Texas. Also have this interesting Twitter thread from this guy named Tom Barry after he heard the, um, the Joe Rogan podcast with Jack Val and James Fox. Apparently Jack Val, he didn't know it, but he revealed some very interesting information about this Batali Memorial Institute. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, also have this really great um, video. This is a two hour video. I watched the whole thing yesterday. It gets into um, our existence, you know, of, of how humanity came about. Yeah, this video talks about how humanity progressed, and it's not based on beliefs or, you know, speculation or, or religion. It's all, it's all based on factual evidence or the interpretation of existing evidence. So it, this, you know, a lot of what I believe is what, what these guys explain. So it's very interesting, but like I said, it's two hours. If you got the time, definitely listen to it. And then let's see, last I have this article from the Jewish press, former head of Israel space program, the aliens ask not to be revealed, humanity not ready. So you wanna, you know, Ask people ask why aren't we being told about aliens? Well, apparently they don't want us to know. So, anyways, uh, let's go to this first video here. Let me go full screen. Hmm, that's a definitely a, a cube-like craft. Yeah, this is only a 40 second video and essentially that's all it does. You see this thing, like I said, I'm pretty sure this was taken from a telescope on Earth. So this has to be, I mean, the way focus works, you know, if this object were closer to Earth, it wouldn't be uh, in focus like this. The fact that it is in focus would indicate to me that this object is more closer to the moon than it is to Earth. So anyways, let's go on to the next video. Let me go full screen on this one too. I think that's all this is doing. Kind of a boring, not the most exciting video. Yeah, 25 seconds of that. Not very exciting. And I don't think this video, next video is very exciting either. I think this is out of Italy. I have no idea what that means. Disco volante nello stretta di Messina. Maybe a disc hovering. I think di Messina is that the name of this bay? But anyways, that's all this video does. This guy just captures a strange object. Again, not the most exciting video. Same with this one. This is, you know, from a CCTV camera. And let me just go back just a sec, because in the beginning, we don't really see anything. Now, let me just start there. Ela não tem nenhum tipo de iluminação. 
para esse tipo de horário. You know, does this look like there's a fire over here? And if that's so, I mean, is this a helicopter observing this fire? Like what's, yeah, whatever, what is going on here seems very strange. I'm, You know, I'm going to assume that it, if this were a normal plane, I don't think these guys would be so concerned or would be filming this because I, I, I'm going to have to assume that you know, they, they, they must be used to looking at whatever CCTV video they're watching. I mean, if they, you know, seen, if they watch planes taking off on a regular basis, they wouldn't necessarily film it. They're filming this because this is unusual. Yeah, that's definitely unusual. Yeah, I don't, I'm not too sure what that, uh, why it keeps jumping back. Yeah, yeah, I'm not too sure if they're re rewinding the film or something, but uh, they definitely got something on that CCTV camera. Anyways, let's uh, go on to the next video, which would be this one here. This is over Romania. And again, you know, this, these aren't the most exciting videos, I'll, I'll admit that. Yeah, this is one of those videos where that object is too far away to really make any determinations of, you know, I mean, it, it, it's obviously something, but, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, one of these out of the world anti-gravity crafts or if, if it's just something normal, hard to tell. Well, that's all I'm going to play this video. Let me go to the next one here. Yeah, this one is actually, I mean, it's not the most exciting, but it is a little more interesting. Now, I wonder if this is some kind of atmospheric phenomenon. No, you know what? I, the, the lights are all lighting up at the same time, so I'm going to say no. Yeah, those lights seem to be moving in relation to each other. Yeah, this, yeah, this is nothing random. Wouldn't... Uh, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's anything random, like it's lightning flashes or anything like that. They all seem to be getting brighter at the same time. I don't know, very strange. I will leave a link in the description. You can check it out. Okay, now this thread is very interesting. So it says, so I have to ask, what is M Batali Memorial Institute? Now, let's see, this was brought up. Let me see if I can find that. Yeah, now, this guy, I found this on, on Reddit. Now, this guy says, in his appearance on the Joe Rogan podcast, Jacques Val said that the entity that controls the phenomenon in our government and controls the intelligent agencies like the CIA is a private contractor. He then goes on to say that a company called the Batali Memorial Institute is the one that sent the memo canceling the U.S. government's planned disclosure event to the assembled scientists and academics. 
so he yeah he brings up this country it appears to be a 501c company that doesn't pay taxes and controls almost every sector of science technology metallurgy biological threats missile defense vaccines aerospace cybersecurity maritime technology genomics eco ecology chemistry drug delivery and more it's a private contractor that is classified under the Atomic Secrets Classification System outside of the Executive and State Department. It has been around since the 1920s and controls most of the science and research labs in America. Jack Vow just outed this company on Joe Rogan's podcast as the private contractor that has the power over the intelligence services and the military. Because it is a 501c3, it is not subject to FOI request and operates outside the normal channels of government and business. Having never heard of this company, I was incredibly surprised to discover that they are one of the most powerful companies in the world with their hands in everything while being outside of all oversight. This unknown and powerful company is incredibly intriguing. Okay, so, so now we know. Batali Memorial Institute. These are the people that are behind the uh, UFO embargo. These are the, or the truth embargo. These are the people that are withholding all this information. They know what's going on. Uh, you know, all these people that are screaming for disclosure, if you forget about the government, okay, or, or any head of state, you want disclosure, these are the people you need to uh, concentrate on. These are the people you need to focus. Yeah, they've been around since the 1920s, but hey, this is a new era. We know their names now. Now we have a face. Let's figure out what they know. Let's demand they give us this information. Anyways, there's, yeah. You want disclosure? This is who you go to. Batali Memorial Institute. You're not nameless. You're not faceless anymore. We know you. So, there you go. I'll leave a link to this thread in the description. Next, yeah, this video here, very, very interesting. It um, talks about humanity's progress of, you know, how they believe we got to this point from, from being hunter-gatherers or, or from, from being the, from, early, from the early hominids. Let me give you a quick preview. The ancient Sumerian tablets describe the stories of the gods, their adventures, deeds, and battles leading to the creation of the heavens, the earth, and humanity. Many of these stories are interpreted to be describing planets and the formation of the early solar system. And in many ways, the theories appear to add up. However, as the tablet stories continue on, they're read in a different way, as if these gods were not deities at all, but physical beings who came to the earth and were involved in human history. Yeah, like I said, I, I watched this whole um, video yesterday and I agree with it all because you know all their conclusions are based on facts. It's not based on speculation. It's not based on someone's belief or religion or any other dogma. You know, all of their conclusions are based on the evidence that uh, they have found, uh, you know, up until this point. Yeah, we are, we're in the 21st century now. We have, you know, a lot of equipment and technology skills and the ability to uh interpret you know specimens from the past or evidence from the past now much much better um so yeah this this video is very good video i definitely suggest uh watching it i'll leave a link in the description check it out let me go to this last article here Former head of Israel's space program, the aliens asked not to be revealed, humanity not yet ready. Professor Haim Ishad served from 1981 to 2010 as the head of Israel's security space program and over the years received the Israeli Security Award three times, twice for confidential technological inventions. So if he went nuts and this possibility is always open, it had to have happened over the past decade. So, if he went nuts, and this possibility is always open, it had to have happened over the past decade. And the reason we think the good professor may have lost his marbles has to do with an interview he gave seven days ago. The Shabbat edition of Yidath Aranath, Israeli's largest circulation for pay newspaper, in which he says, The aliens have asked not to announce that they are here. 
humanity is not yet ready. Professor Isha told Yidioth, among other things, the UFOs have asked not to publish that they are here. Humanity is not ready yet. Trump was on the verge of revealing, but the aliens in the Galactic Federation are saying, wait, let people calm down first. They don't want to start mass hysteria. They want to first make us sane and understanding. They have been waiting for humanity to evolve and reach a stage where we will generally understand what space and spaceships are. There's an agreement between the U.S. government and the aliens. They signed a contract with us to do experiments here. They too are researching and trying to understand the whole fabric of the universe and they want us as helpers. There's an underground base in the depths of Mars where their representatives are and also are American astronauts. Now, yeah, I'm not going to give this thing 100% credence because this notion that, oh, they signed a contract. Okay, so you're saying that the aliens are going to honor some some obscure words written on a piece of paper because because we do that's ridiculous you know uh there yeah i mean humans break contracts right so what what would why would an advanced species that has, has existed on this planet a lot longer than us definitely has more power uh, technology and intelligence than us uh, um adhere to some contract that was written by the surface monkeys no i don't uh i'm not buying that um i think i think they have to be elements of them you know yeah controlling definitely controlling events on this planet they're they're, they're definitely in charge but i don't think you know that like that yeah, we signed a contract and they're they're agreeing to the contract because, oh, we signed it. Oh, you, you signed your signature. No, I think that's BS. So anyways, I, this is an interesting article, but I'm not going to give it 100% credence. Because, of, yeah, this notion that, oh, yeah, we signed a contract with them, that's BS. But anyways, uh, that is going to be it for this video. If you like things like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll have more things like this. Take care.